안녕하세요. Good morning to all my friends from Korea. 감사합니다. Thank you for tuning in. And to everybody else, thank you for tuning in. Do you know we're down to the last two verses in 2 Peter? Isn't this good? We're starting on Monday the 20th, 1 Samuel, with a little Bible history. Get the book in context. Go through it. Paragraph by paragraph, verse by verse, some places, chapter by chapter. We're going to have a good time in 1 Samuel. And then apply it. Here's the thing we have to learn. How do we apply something written thousands of years ago in the Old Testament era under the law? How do we interpret it for today? What's it mean to us today? It was, wasn't written to us then. It was written to the Jews. They're giving them their history, but now it's part of the Bible for us. But how do we rightly divide? Speaking of rightly dividing, verse 17, chapter 3, Therefore, his last therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, what forewarned? The day of the Lord is going to come like a thief. Final judgment is on the way. God is going to balance all the scales. Oh, yes, yes. Every secret thing that hasn't been covered by the blood of Jesus, every work of darkness, every phony, every fraud, every the secrets of men's hearts will be revealed. The, those who have put their faith in Christ are going to hear, well done, come home. And those, even some who have said, Lord, Lord, did we not do this? We'll hear, depart from me. I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. I'd say that's probably the most important question facing you and I today. Is there, is there a more important question? How's the economy going to do? Whatever. Who, who, what, what party will win in, in the next uh, national election? Whatever. How much money do I need to put in the bank for a rainy day? Do the best you can with the wisdom God gives you. But trust me, you're not taking, I'm not taking a dime with me. So therefore, since Paul, Peter says, also talked about these things, and Peter is warning us, how should we live? What kind of life should we be living today? Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, there's warnings in the Bible, not just promises. Be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your secure position. Now, that's a mouthful. Therefore, dear friends, since you've been forewarned, some preachers, let it not be me, Lord, only give promises and soothing words, never warnings. But parents give warnings to children. Don't play with matches. Don't play with scissors. Don't fool around with drugs. Those are warnings. I thought you loved me. That's why I'm warning you. Because I love you. What are the warnings God's been giving you? Or me? Lately? Because he's faithful. Who the Lord loves, he not only chastens, he warns. Do not go there. And like signs in the beach, do not swim. Tides are too strong. You'll be pulled out to sea. Paul, Peter is now saying, you've been forewarned, so be on your guard. What does that mean? Come on, wake up. Be alert. You know, when you play defense and basketball and the guy's coming down the court, you don't just sit there chewing gum and going, no, you're alert. Hey, what's he doing? What's going on here? What's happening on the side of me? My peripheral vision. What's happening behind me? Where, what are my teammates doing? What are, come on. I'm in position. I'm alert. He said, now spiritually, be alert. You've been forewarned. So be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of what? Lawless people. Who, who want to live any way they want and cover it up with verses and fall from your secure position. So 
What's the danger here? Don't be carried away because these teachings are attractive. Let me give you one. Uh, Pastor Simbla, I, I, wanna, I want membership in the church or whatever pastor's interviewing them. I want, I want um, uh, 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 become a member, but, you know, I'm having trouble, and that's why I'm seeing you, because they said that, you know, I'm living with someone I'm not married with, this guy, but we love each other. And Tito is my man. You don't know. No, but that's called sin in the Bible. And anyone who practices sin, the Bible tells us, will not enter the kingdom of heaven, who practices it with no repentant spirit. No, but listen, pastor, it's like this. Uh, God loves me. Isn't that right? Yeah. God wants me happy, not sad. Yeah. And living with Tito makes me happy. Thus, ergo, God is for that. You mean he wants me to give up something I like? What kind of Christianity, Pastor Simba? Where do you live? See? That, that can suck you in. And then people around that say, don't believe those preachers. They're always judging. You know, I, that's why I don't go to church. A lot of condemnation. A lot of haters there. No, dude, a lot of haters in that church. Don't go there. That's resting the Bible, Scripture, to your own destruction. And Paul says it has a, a, a drawing force. Don't be carried away by the error, that's just one, of the lawless and fall from your secure position. Now, if it's not possible to fall from our secure position, why would Peter warn us, be on alert and on guard, that you won't be carried away by false teaching by lawless people and fall from your secure position. If it's impossible to fall from our secure position, I'm just trying to read this, make sense of it. If we're secure in Christ, yes. But now Peter is saying, be careful that you get carried away and fall from your secure position. You're in a secure position. Your eyes are on Christ. You're reading by the Bible. You're going by the word of God. Now don't fall from that. I plead with you, today in the name of the Lord. Be on guard. Come on, let's be alert. Wake up. Wake up. Put the phone down. Read your Bible. Unless your phone has the Bible and that's how you read it. Let's fill ourselves with truth so that we know error when it comes. I love you. We have one, uh, just another finished verse to do. One more verse to finish, I should say. And then we say adios to Goodbye to Second Peter, and we're moving on. See you tomorrow. Yeah.